And we're <laughs> and we're back. And yes, we're going to talk about the um, Pee Wee division, which is one of my favorite divisions in in, in Big Apple. Uh, I think one of the teams. I mean, there are a lot of plays in the Pee Wee division. Let me tell you what game I saw that was pretty good. The Brooklyn Tom Hawks they beat the Bronx River twenty nothing. Now, Brooklyn Tom Hawks have a outstanding young man playing on that team. And I'll tell you one thing, Carlos Gonzalez, again, this kid is an absolutely a great athlete. And one of the things that amazes me, the Brooklyn Tom Hawks, again, they're flying beneath the radar of Coach Ramsey's doing a good job and Coach Tashik. Well, they're not actually flying under the radar because there's <laughs> another team that winded up in Florida last year. So, I mean, unless you don't know what's going on here in Big Apple, <laughs> as me, you know, Courtney, Waterbed, and Q Boogie. Right. Then you, yo, <laughs> just that, that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> well, I think Coach Darrell is kind of walking around and pretending like he's invisible. So yeah, I think he's trying to say, hey, we don't have a good team. But I think this is one of the things he's trying to do because he wants to take the pressure and attention off of them. I hope everyone's seen that show, that movie, G.I. Joe, when they can put the invisible suit on them and take it off. <laughs> right. Darrell, I want to pull that invisible suit off of you because I know you're out there. <laughs> hey, speaking of Darrell having a, a good team, Mount Vernon beating up on Yonkers up in the PB division. I heard that Mount Vernon is a very a, a very strong team this year in the PB division. What do you think? Well, like I said, I spoke to Joe Mo personally, and he promised me that, you know, last year coming into the league, they were a little tight, didn't know what to expect and things of that nature. Right. But now, you know, they got their feet wet, you know, right. their nose bloody. And at this time, they, they're coming out fighting this year. They're not just getting punched in the eyes. Eh? Well, speaking of getting your eyes punched in and nose being bloody, welcome to Division One Bengals. Because <laughs> a lot of nose bloody and then a lot of bleeding is going on up there. And I don't think the bleeding is going to stop on this weekend because guess who they play this weekend? Oh, man. They play against... <laughs> yeah. I not bad weather. Bad weather, oh, a.k.a. Okay. And I heard it was going to storm today. And they better hope that it just storms on Wednesday and Thursday when we shooting this show. Because if they in the midst of the storm on Saturday, God help them. <laughs> I just hope that on Monday, Coach Ant and the rest of the Bengals up there in Bingo Land know who they are. Right. You know? As Coach Dennis B was saying, they are who we thought they are. <laughs> <laughs> the Titans. Beating up on the Giants, 35 nothing on the PB level. I don't think Bill has won on a PB level since Little Dave played yeah. three years ago. Well, well, one thing, like I said, you know, definitely glad to see the downtown Giants back in Big Apple football. Absolutely. After Welcome back, Ryan. Yes, after going over to that other league. Other league. <laughs> you know, um, we're not, 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 not allowed to say that on the show. <laughs> you know, but one thing you do know that here is true competition. You know, and you know, just right now, you just have to, you know, take your lumps and bruises, rebuild your program. What was the score that game? Uh, are we allowed to say that on the air? 35 nothing? Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> 35 nothing. Speaking of noses being bloodied and bruises. Oh, uh, yeah. Speaking of noses being bloodied and bruised. Yes. I see on the teleprompt that the Jets of Harlem beat up on the Renegades. Wow. I mean, yeah, it was a lot of. So there was a lot of uh, leg squeezing. I heard that you couldn't even tell the difference from the red, from their nose, <laughs> and their jersey that was getting bloody so much up there. That's it. It was so it was so bad at one point. I think they put they gave him a towel. They said, no, that towel's already red. <laughs> <laughs> Jamel definitely put it on the Renegades uh, in D2, and this is going to be, again, a testament and a trial for the Renegades to get themselves together, to get prepared week in and week out. D2, not easy. And speaking of not easy, I know it wasn't easy for uh, uh, Lance and the Bulldogs to take that shit lacking after the Hurricanes. <laughs> you know, I mean, a lot of guys is looking for Henry, you know, to be in the backfield, and I heard Henry's all over the field. Well, I think they were looking for Henry, but I think the problem was they found him. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you, you can't be your ass, ass for. you just might get it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that's what happened. I think there was a lot of taunting going on up the field from what I heard, and uh, unfortunately, Jamaica Bulldogs was looking for Henry, and now unfortunately they found him. And I think they're very happy that they lost him again. <laughs> they get ready for this week's action, because again, the Big Apple, every week is uh, it's a tough week of football, and uh, Speaking of Shell Atkins, I'm going over to the Junior Midget Division. Mount Vernon Razorbacks, they beat up on the Yonkers, 40-7. Uh, Yonkers, uh, welcome back to Big Apple also. Right. And you're still learning that, yo, um, 
Probably competition. Yeah, competition. <laughs> competition is high over here. Right. You know, I know that was a you know Yonkers Mount Vernon rival. You know, I Absolutely. wish I could have got up there to see some of this. Hey, you know why I said crime doesn't pay? Because <laughs> they beat them like they stole something. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking about beating like they stole something, hey, the Tom Hawks go up to Harlem and beat up on the uh, Harlem Hornets. Here we go 34, again. I'll go seven. back to Junior Midget Tom, Tom Hawks, then Junior Pee Wees, then Pee Wees, and then Junior Midgets all went Division II with Florida last year. And they're still beasting in Division II in New York right now. Yes. What I was told, I was over at Tom Hawks Field just this Sunday, and I had a the opportunity to talk to Coach Dow, and he promised me that Florida, the tickets are paid for already. <laughs> he promised me that, you know, they already bought the houses, and the you villas, know, they got the villas, <laughs> you know, but they know what days they go into the pool. <laughs> well, let me just say one thing. A few people I know had tickets to Florida before, and all of a sudden, they got thrown off the jet. <laughs> so, Coach Rams, you be careful about purchasing tickets without finding out the fine print what the resale value is because you could be stuck with and tickets in your no hand refund. with no refund. So, you, I mean, again, this week was a great week of football. I mean, I think one of the things that we have to really look at, Coach, uh, in, in this week coming up, is, which was a great game also, I'm watching the Ravens in that division. The Ravens beat the Renegades. They edged them out 13-6. Great game, tremendous game. Ravens score... Uh, one of the top players in that game uh, for the um, for the uh, Ravens was uh, Chris Reed. Chris Reed is an extraordinary athlete, uh, number five for the Ravens. And listen, this game went down to the wide minute, 23 seconds left in the game. Chris Reed puts the ball in the end zone. Some tough calls at the end of the game. But regardless, that was a great game. I absolutely enjoyed the game. 13-7, uh, Ravens win. And again, that might be the strong suit for the Ravens this year because uh, on the other levels, Dexter might have a long afternoon. On a lot of Saturdays. <laughs> well, one thing I can say about Dexter, as you know, he always he's lately stating that they're rebuilding, but somehow they wind up in Florida. No, Dexter said this is not, I repeat, a rebuilding year. That's what he said in the early uh, meetings in uh, March and uh, April. So I think that he might want to recant that and say this is a rebuilding year. <laughs> well, I know um, we watched the, uh, I watched the, uh, it was like the Warriors <clears throat> against the Brooklyn Chiefs, you know, know was it? little Cavs going away party. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Yo, it, it, they were glad to get rid of him, right? Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, little Cavs. Hope you do well, phenomenal and, up in New Hampshire. Right, and stay there, little Cavs, <laughs> all through the season and have a good time and do good in school. I mean, but little Cavs, little Cavs was little Cavs, you know, putting it up in the air and... One thing about that guy, I told you before, you can't rattle him, you put him underneath pressure, he doesn't rattle easy, and I'm gonna tell you, he's a big time quarterback, you're gonna read about little Kev in the future, guarantee you. I also see the Panthers beating up on the Crusaders, wow. 20 to six, wow. you know, um, Sam, uh, congratulations, you know, right. I know it was hard for you to take that D2 step, but you know, um, it's a good thing for Coach Sam. And also, let me just say this too: we wish Coach Sam the, the best, best of health, health definitely. because he was definitely uh, he was ill some time ago. But Coach Sam is doing his job. And I said, Coach Sam, you're doing it in the park. Coach Sam said, you don't care what's going on. He said he can't stay away from the kids, can't stay away from the game. You gotta love a guy like that. So we'll be back after these highlights and these messages from the Cute Boogie Sports Show. If you keep it where it is. Oh. Shyness, your highness is performing. Look how long the line is. It's what happened, you make shit that's timeless. It's what happened, these rappers is the pioneers. What do it take to be a legend like Nas is? I'm so novice, I'm so polished. I got a right to be a little bit snobbish. I did a little bit of college semesters. It took two like robbers to let me figure out this wasn't my place. The beat slow till you listen to my pace. Cause I be killing shit, but that's evident. And y'all feeling it, but I I expected it. If it's classic, it's gon' last forever. Then I'm everywhere. You never been and better than I ever been. Classic. Oh.